Hi, my name is Brittany Akashinsky, and I will be giving you uh, your orientation for early child for early childhood um, care at my center because I want to make sure that all the teachers and all the staff members and everyone that is here feels welcomed and feels that they belong and then they can ask any questions and they can do anything that they need to. They can ask staff members, they can ask me, they can do anything that they need to feel welcomed and feel like they are part of the uh, center. So let's just jump into it. The first thing I would want my teachers to have is a background check because you will be teaching children and the parents, obviously parents are very keen on having a good teacher for their children and just making sure that you have a good teaching background or if you're a new teacher, then we can work around that and make sure that you are willing to do the best that you can. So that is why I go back to saying you can ask questions, you can ask for new ideas because having new ideas and experiencing new things for your children and even for yourself is so much better and it's a lot of, it's a better way of having them learn by doing new things that they have never heard of and also for you to uh, learn new things because teachers do learn new things from their students, so I think that would be a great thing to have. My next thing is that you have obviously a good education, um, even if it's just a, a small degree, we want to make sure that you at least have some knowledge of knowing how to teach and are able to get to the place that the kids need to get to um, because our what we want to do here is we want to make sure that the kids learn and that we have uh, great outcomes because maybe someday one of the kids would want to be a teacher too. And we also want to know that you are able to teach kids. So if you're not able to express what you feel or able to give out a certain assignment and they have questions about it, you need to know how to do that because children ask so many questions and it is that is something that you need to know how to do because otherwise they won't learn and we want them to learn here. Um, the next thing is, are you able to provide the motor skills that kids need um, in their daily life. So since we are an early childhood education center, we are focused on also making sure that they know how to walk and talk and sit and stand and learn how to follow rules. We want them to be able to follow, follow rules because that is a big thing in life. They need to follow rules. And obviously they need to learn basic motor skills and everything else that goes in with that. So they need to know that they can count on you and then we can count on you so that they can uh, get to where they need in life. Um, the next thing is when you get settled into your classroom and you're with your students or you're just planning out something, we want to make sure that you're comfortable with the material that you are giving your students or uh, certain rules that you're giving your students. We want to make sure that you are comfortable and you feel like we're part of like a big family so that you can go along and ask questions. You can be able, you can be able to express your feelings and anything that goes along with that. So when you are, let's say that you're handing out an assignment and uh, you're not really sure what it is, I would say don't hand out that assignment. Maybe one day you can go and you can ask another staff member, be like, hey, do you think I can change this up? Or um, how do you think this would be able to get across to the kids so that they understand it? 
So we want to make sure that you're comfortable with the material that you can give them and the materials that we can give you. Um, our last, our next thing is, how will you engage with your students and how will you engage with the parents? When you engage with students, we want you to be kind to them and nice and them be able to come up to you and feel like you're like almost their best friend and they can ask you questions about anything that they need or anything that is going on with them. Um, also with the parents, we want, maybe not their best friend, but we want you to be um, good with the parents, have a good relationship with the parents so that if you need to have a conference with them or if um, something is going on with their child that they're not aware of, we want you to make sure that you can talk to them and have a good civil conversation with them so that they know that, hey, this might be something that we need to change with my kid so that um, we can uh, get to where they need to be. Um, our next thing is the rules of the school and um, how the teachers should be following it. We have certain rules for the teachers that we would like for them to follow and obviously we have rules for the students. So if the teacher is following the rules, then uh, the student's gonna follow the rules because the student, because kids always look up to their teachers and they always look up to their adults. So if you're following the rules, then we know the students will follow the rules and that's what we want. We wanna make sure that you can follow the rules, which obviously not everyone um, likes certain rules that we have. But if you can follow those rules, it would be amazing. And then our students will do the same thing. Um, our next thing is, um, again, comfortability. Like, make sure that you're comfortable with them. Because when we have staff meetings, for example, we um, bounce ideas off of each other and um, ask, hey, do you think this is a good idea that we should do? Or, hey, how do you uh, do this? Or even if they have ideas that um, they've used in the past, you can be like, hey, I like the idea of the counting ice creams that you had up on the wall to like show the days and stuff. Like you wanna, like if you wanna do that, then you can ask a teacher and be like, hey, can I take that idea or can I use that idea and like mix it up a little just so that, you know, you're using your own creativity and, um, it gives you another idea. So we wanna make sure that you're comfortable with the staff members um, at our school. Um, the next thing is um, make sure that you show responsibility. You need to make sure that you have your lessons uh, planned, um, have like your phones turned off because we never wanna be on our phones because we don't wanna show the kids that. Um, we wanna make sure that you are doing um, arts and crafts with them and um, anything that you wanna do, but you can't be disorganized. We don't want you to be disorganized because then when you're disorganized, then you're just throwing things together and you're not really sure um, how it's gonna work out. So when you're, when you're responsible and you're more organized, um, you get through a lesson plan and you get what you need to be done and then maybe you know they have some free time at the end or um, they can finish other assignments that they didn't have time to finish. So when you have re responsibilities and like a time management and organized, it's so much easier to get your lesson plan done and everything through. And the last thing is, I believe this is a big thing, is that you want to learn about different cultures and different uh, beliefs that they have and obviously respect them. Some kids, um, celebrate different holidays that we don't know about or that we don't celebrate so um you would have to work around that so that the parent knows that hey i'm gonna um work around with your child and so that um he can do the assignment at home or he can do the assignment another day so that they know that you're taking in what they believe in and that they feel comfortable with you and then you feel comfortable with them um so I believe that is a big thing that we need. But that is the end of my orientation. I hope that you have enjoyed it, um, understand it, and um, 
have any questions that you need to. If you have any questions, you can always ask your staff members or ask the person that is in charge of the center or anything like that. So I hope you have a great day and thank you for um, coming to my orientation.